Lads, 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 it does not look like EA are stopping with the objective content for World Cup. So as long as EA keep releasing it, we'll keep releasing objective guides. Today, lads, we're going to be looking at Nations Dynamic Duo 3 Milestones. You can give us a Brun Larson along with a Nati. And this Nati card, by the way, looks very, very good. Very, very good in my opinion. In fact, he even looks a little bit better than the Brun Larson card does himself boys if you are new make sure to drop a like and subscribe with these objective guide series our main goal is to kind of have all of your questions answered throughout the video we'll have a squad builder go over the managerial masterpiece game mode some in-game examples if necessary if i do leave any of your questions unanswered make sure to leave a comment down below i'll try my best to get back to you and without further ado boys at least get into it as well there will be seg segments or chapters i think youtube call them at the bottom of the video that you can skip to if you do want but let's get into it first of all we've got score four goals using players with at least a four star weak foot in the light foot friendly managerial masterpiece quite self-explanatory assist four goals using players from denmark in the light foot friendly managerial masterpiece with score 12 goals in managerial masterpiece assist using dynamic doronati during four separate matches and you've got win eight matches having dynamic doronati within your starting lineup and when they say within your starting lineup you'd think maybe that means your bench but no they do mean the starting 11 they should just clarify that they always do that I, I don't know why they are so poor when it comes to clarifying just small details like that but lads this looks relatively simple now I'm, I'm gonna just you know start off and we're gonna start with tip one usually it works a little bit different usually we get into the squad builder managerial masterpiece game mode but tip number one lads this nati card you could get within one game if you find a willing opponent if you are on playstation or xbox in my opinion it is best to turn cross play off for this especially if you're on xbox if you're playstation you'll most likely play someone else on playstation but if you are on xbox it is tough to find someone else on xbox because there's a lot more ps players than there is xbox Unless you are playing on old gen anyway. Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure if old gen has crossplay. I'm actually not too sure with that one. But anyway, what I'm trying to say, lads, is the moral of the story. What you want to do, go into a managerial masterpiece game mode, pause it straight away, have a look at your opponent's game attack, and chuck him a message and say, hey, man, can you let me get 12 goals and I'll do the same for you? That's why it is sometimes best to flick off crossplay so you're playing someone on, your, on the same console. Therefore, you will be able to message them via maybe the PlayStation or Xbox app on your phone or through the console yourself and you can go 12 goals you can you know give him the goals he'll let you get the goals you can give him the win if he wins 13 2 fair enough but if you can get those 12 goals within the in one match at the same time trying to get the goals with the players with at least four star weak foot assisting the goals with the players from denmark you can literally get all three of these objectives done within literally one game if you find a willing opponent and then after you get nati in the squad that is when you're going to want to start assisting or assist with dynamic doors nati in the squad and just win eight matches so then it just comes down to winning games so you can get all three of these objectives done in one game if you find an opponent that's willing to let you get 12 goals and you can let him get 13 14 be polite let him have the win there is literally no win requirement so it will not change anything so that's what you want to do boys find a willing uh, player if you cannot message them you could offside trap your players maybe score an own goal off of kickoff so he's aware that you do want to do that but that's tip number one boys message your opponent and you can literally get three objectives done within one game if you find someone willing enough to help you out or you could always try and match a friend as well you gotta kind of search at the same time and try and match him that is always an option as well the managerial masterpiece requirements is a team overall rating of a maximum 80, 88 and higher overall players at most 1, bronze players exactly 0 in your starting 11. I do want to warn you guys, um, when I say starting 11, all of these requirements is bugged. It's been like, what, 2 weeks? EA have not fixed this, okay? That goes for the 88 player, and that goes for the bronze player, and the lone player as well, or especially the bronze and 88 plus. They say starting 11, okay? But they mean the bench as well i'll show you guys what i'm talking about um basically you can't have bronze players on the bench even though the bench is technically not a part of a starting 11 so, so they should say your starting squad not your starting 11 that's just ea being ea but lads i'm gonna build you guys up a cheap managerial masterpiece squad that you can use right boys so this is a team that i have come up with now i do want to mention before we go further in the squad builder this is just simply up for you to decide okay um but in my opinion it's probably worth 
worthwhile if you want to complete multiple of these dynamic duo cards at the same time. You've also got those Uruguayan lads in there, right? And I think you need just some little Liga players, I'm pretty sure. Um, I you might need Uruguayan players for that one, I can't really remember. But you could most definitely get two birds with one stone, as they're both in managerial masterpiece. For the sake of the squad builder, in fact, let me, let me double check the Dynamic Duo uh, 1 requirements real quick, just to kind of back my point up a little bit. So the, yeah, the Nations Dynamic Duo 1 with the Espino and the Suani Uruguayan players, you need to assist four through balls with players with at least 80 passing, you have to score goals with Uruguayan players, and then other than that, like you got to you kind of get the uh, get the score goals with the Suani card, so if you do want to do both of them at the same time, you most definitely can do that, you'll probably have to get some Uruguayan players in, try get Suani, get the goals, I mean chuck Suani in your squad, maybe chuck Suani up, fr up front, and you literally do two birds with one stone. You can do the Denmark Dynamic Duo 3 and the uh, Uruguay Dynamic Duo 1 at the exact same time. We're not going to do that today. I'm just kind of letting you guys know in case you want to. But as I said for today, we are just focusing on the D Dynamic Duo 3 objectives, aka the Danish boys. And speaking of the Danish boys, we have gone for two Danish players in the squad, in Christian Eriksen, and we've gone for Skov Olsen as well at right mid. Now, we are a little bit limited with Denmark players because there's no one crazy. And I know Eriksen's most definitely not crazy this FIFA but it's just a couple Danish players to try and get those Danish assists okay and I wanted to choose the midfielders even if you had some Danish attackers I was just not really any good Danish attackers which is why we didn't go for it but I think these two I mean a center mid right mid may get involved you may be able to get some assists with them other than that we've gone for a full La Liga side just because I think a La Liga is the best league to use for like you know value for card type of players you've got Griezmann at left striker I've gone for Correa at right striker with Danjuma on the left and Lamar as the left centre mid Adria or yeah Adria Pedrosa as our left back with Ronald not going to try to pronounce that last name I, I always butcher this man's name um, but he is very meta this FIFA along with Al Yamik and we've got Montiel at right back with Unai Simon in net alright so as you can see the requirements below my webcam all of of it is ticked off with green as i mentioned earlier it says you're not allowed any bronze players in the starting 11 sadly ea are you know stupid and look technically this bronze player is not in the starting 11 but on the bench and as you can see he's no longer there um I, ea i don't know i guess they do not understand that the subs the bench do not count as the starting 11 i'm just not surprised but but leading me into tip number two lads is going to be the bench um now if you build this team you may have some questions you may be davis my team rating is a lot higher than 80 rated in fact if i start taking the silver players off the bench as you can see that team rating is going up to an 83 so what you want to do is you want to choose three super subs of your choice. Remember, you can have one player over 88 rated. And if you've still got your loan Mbappe from the beginning of the game, I definitely think it is worth using him. Um, I've also chosen Kessier and Emile Smith-Rowe as my super subs. Now, it is 83 rated. And as I said, you cannot use bronze cards on your bench. EA do not allow that. So the lowest possible rating you can have on your bench to lower that overall squad rating is a 65 rated silver card. So make sure, lads, you get your 65 rated silver cards on the bench. And as you can see, it narrows it down all the way to an 80 rated squad. Therefore, we can make the most of it. We've got a team that is above an average rating of 80, along with obviously a three very good super subs that we can bring on. So that's tip number Number two, narrow that bench down and get those super subs going, which leads me into the third and the final tip, lads, and that is going to be golden goal. As I said, what you'll want to do is try and message your opponent first and then try get the 12 goals in one game or in, in one game, sorry, get those 12 goals, get those Danish assists. All of that good stuff, three birds of one stone, as I mentioned earlier. Then after you get that Nazi card in your squad, okay? So what you're gonna want to do is after you get those goals, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna go and claim this Nazi card from objectives. You're going to get him in a squad and you can go ahead and chuck him in over. You can chuck him in over Christian Eriksen if you want, just like that. Now, when you're at this point, you have to win eight games and just assist with him in your squad, which you'll get anyway. And at that point, you're going to want to do golden goal. If you're not sure how golden goal works, here is an in-game example. 
Golden Goal is an unspoken community rule and is very self-explanatory. Basically, whoever scores first, the other opponent will go ahead and back out. So if you go 1-0 down, you may as well back out because there's no worse feeling than having to win the game. You get to the 70th minute and you go 1-0 down. You feel like you've just wasted so much time. Now, this was on stream and as you can see, it was a game mode where we did need a win. And only 13 minutes into the game, which is like two IRL minutes, we go 1-0 up my opponent quits now we're going to speed this up so you guys know i'm not cutting it until like you know five games later because that's just unrealistic so i'm going to speed the whole process up again to the game after and the exact same thing happens we go one nil up and my opponent backs out that's two wins that we got in the space of maybe four irl minutes compared to having to actually play the full games out usually would take like half an hour 15 minutes a match um obviously if you do go one nil down as well you will have to quit yourself because then it just makes it much more effective so make sure lads to do some golden goal so 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 worth the time bro i mean if everyone's doing golden goal and i'd say you want to try and find someone it is, it is a little bit difficult because you want to find someone that's not doing golden goal to get all of the 12 goals in one match try find someone that's willing as i said you could try and search at the same time and match your friend if you want to to. if you have no friends then i'm sure there'll be people in the youtube comments wanting to do it maybe you can follow each other on twitter if you've got a discord something like that meet someone i mean the internet you'll you'll know the internet's massive right you'll be able to find someone some way or somehow and you can just try and match each other um as i said if you do not that is if you have no luck with trying to find someone else in the community and just letting each other score the goals then after you get those goals you're going to want to do golden goal from that point onwards so ladies for the objectives overview score four goals using players with at least a four star weak foot we've got a few players with a four star weak foot in my squad dan juma correa as my main two attacking assets to mention i think i'm not sure if greg simmons got a four star weak foot so if you do want someone with more of a four star weak foot you can do that you've got the assist four goals using players from Denmark we've chosen Olsen and uh, Ericsson I believe and then scored 12 goals in a light foot friendly as I said I just went over it so I'm not going to go too much more in depth with it but if you do want to try and find someone score some own goals offside trap your your players just so they know that you're willing to do it um, and you know they might catch on if they're an experienced objective player chuck them a message I know lots of the time they have messages disabled so that might not be an option or you could obviously try and find someone meet someone maybe a friend and try and match someone that way get those 12 goals in one match get this nati card did not mean to bump that in your starting squad and then from there lads you're just going to want to do golden goal and try get your eight wins that way all right simple as as well as i did mention you can do these at the same time as well if you are smart and you do start your shuani you'll be able to do the nation's dynamic door one and the nation's dynamic door three objectives at the exact same time good luck boys happy grinding as i said any questions let me know down below and i'll see you boys in the next one Peace out, boys.